The concept of black money or the money on which no tax has been levied has been uh, one of the areas of contention in India and uh, effectively it was on the back of largely I would say on the back of this particular thing that the existing government actually came into power now last year and they had a commitment that they're going to build up measures to ensure that the black money is not generated and whatever has been generated in the past and is lying abroad for the Indians is brought back into India. Delivering on that promise, there have been certain uh, suggestions as well as certain indications as well as certain changes in the law which have been done by the finance minister which are proposed for this time and uh, the, most of them basically relate to what are the penal consequences for people who are having their black money and how not disclosing that. In addition to that, there is a provision which has been specifically amended or is actually proposed wherein it has been said that when you accept any advance for transfer of immovable property now this is insofar as domestic black money is concerned because a large amount of black money in India is generated through the real estate transactions and uh, what has been said is that if you are accepting advance for transfer of immovable property then there are two changes which are proposed to be done one you cannot accept an amount greater than 20,000 whether it's a loan deposit or advance for transfer of immovable property otherwise then through an account pay check okay and similarly you cannot repay such loan deposit or advance which was in respect of transfer of immovable property and is greater than 20,000 otherwise then through an account pay check so what this means is that now most of the transactions which are going to happen in respect of transfer of immovable property have to be done through checks and the moment this is done the same money gets into the system right if you don't do it then there are penalties which can be imposed on you under section 271d and so section 271e of the income tax act now some of the key features of the proposed law on black money which is there in respect of foreign assets are as under if you evade tax tax evasion on foreign assets you can have rigorous imprisonment up to 10 years there could be a penalty of 300% of the asset value for foreign assets. You could have imprisonment if for seven years if you do not file disclosures in relation to the foreign asset or make inadequate disclosure when filing your return of income. Any income which is there for these foreign assets will be considered as undisclosed income and shall be taxable at maximum marginal rate. In addition to this, there will be a prosecution and penalties and even those banks, financial institutions, etc. who are involved in such kind of acts may be penalized. And concealment of income in relation to the foreign assets is likely to be made a predicate offense under PML Act 2002, which has its own set of dire consequences. So in a nutshell, basically, what is meant here is disclose your foreign assets, or else face the music now whether for these disclosure there will be some scheme which will come in where people will be given an opportunity to disclose them is something which everyone would need to wait and watch out for